in this video i will be showing you how you can solve this problem if you get this kind of question like largest odd number in a string interviewer can give you any string okay like 52 4 2 0 6 3 5 4 2 7 like any number can be given to you if a number is 4 2 0 6 so here you can see 4 is also even number 4 2 is also even number 4 2 0 is also even number and 4 2 0 6 is also even number so we are unable to get any odd string okay so what we will return in this case we will return simply empty string so that is also given and one more last one is this one if the complete number you are getting as odd like this you are get, getting so that so we cannot find the largest odd number than this because the string itself is an odd number so we will return this string so how we will approach this kind of question that is the main thing so if this question is given or any question like this like if the interviewer can give you like largest even number in the string so if odd number you can solve you can solve even number very easily so let me show you how you will approach this question so assume the number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this is the number given to you so if you start from starting you will get the first odd index that is at 1 so 1 you will update in answer then you will go for 1 to 1 to 1 to is here even you will not update then you get 1 to 3 which is a odd string you will again update then you will get 1 2 3 4 5 you will again update okay so that means at last you will return 1 2 3 4 5 you are starting from start and you are going to end but in this what you will do you will have to compare again and again a lot of comparison is needed okay but if i say you a reverse logic like if you do traverse from last you only have to check the last number at what you are standing is a odd number or not if it is a odd number you just have to return the complete string let me show you you starting you are standing at 6 then you will check the 6 is odd or even it is even so you will not return anything then you are standing at 5 so 5 is a odd number then you get your number yeah because when you are standing at 5 you already got your number see i will just return this one that is the logic because 5 is odd number so whatever may be in the starting that the number itself will be a odd number you can take any number okay let me implement and explain it. I will first take a for loop. I will start it from the ending. So I can write num dot length minus one because see number is a string. If number is given you as a integer, you have to convert it into string. That is very easy in JavaScript. So what I will do, I will just write i is greater than equals to zero because we have to traverse to the starting position. At this scenario, when there all the numbers are even, we have to traverse up to the starting position. Then I will do i minus minus because every time we have to check for the next number. We have to check for the next previous number and so on. We have to continue. We have to check if num of i that whatever index we are standing if I will do a module of it too and that gives us result as 1. Only odd number gives us result as 1 when we do module dot 2. So we, what we have to do? We have to return num dot slice of we have to slice from starting to that index plus 1 because array start from 0th position and slice method in JavaScript takes two things. One is the starting position where you want to cut the array and where you want to stop the slicing. So I will do i plus 1 because it will stop at this position. It will start from 0. If we are unable to get any odd number like in this scenario, what we will do? We will just return empty strings. So let me run it by the test cases what are given. So you can see all the test cases passed. Let me submit it and show you. So you can see our solution is submitted and 196 text cases it passed. Okay, kind of interesting videos. Subscribe our channel and like this video.